Hello and welcome to another session of the EMEA webcasts um, for Office 365. Today we will be discussing the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant tool, Sarah, um, and how we can use Sarah to resolve common issues in um, Office 365. My name is Dwight Samah and I will be discussing with you today how we can use Sarah to help with office um, setup issues. So I've launched the Support and Recovery Assistant tool for Office 365, Sarah, and I will choose that I need help with the office setup and I'm having um, trouble installing or activating an Office 365 product. So I'm going to choose Next. And I have an Office 365 subscription, but I don't know where to go to install it. Uh, the purpose of um, the Support and Recovery Assistant tool, Sarah, uh, is as you can see, it can be used both by end users and by administrators. And here uh, I'm going to choose uh, that, yes, this is the affected machine. If I do not choose uh, that this is the affected machine or if I don't install, the tool on the affected machine, then it will not be able to continue because um, Sarah needs to run some um, tests and checks on the affected machine. So I'm going to choose yes and I'm going to click next and I'm going to enter my um, demo account which I have created for this test. And this account has to be licensed for Office Pro Plus to be able to install the Office 365 products. All right, so here um, Sarah checks for uh, any existing installations uh, of uh, Office client software. It also um, fetches the user, user information and from the portal, from the tenant. Uh, it checks if the user um, has the correct license uh, the office for the Office client software and that the user account includes the password and state of the license. It validates access to the Office setup CDN connectivity point. It validates the user user's local admin rights for the office installation tasks. So the user has to have administrator rights uh, to be able to install the Office Pro Plus um, software. It also checks system requirements to pre-qualify the user for installation of the latest software. And as you can see here, uh, the Sarah tool is giving us the results of the troubleshooting. It has validated the account information. It has resolved the host name. It has checked for any um, network uh, settings and the antivirus uh, programs and the system requirements and any pending reboots. Okay. And uh, the Sarah tool says that it has found an office installation already on the computer. So I'm going to click next. Okay. And the Sarah tool is giving us um, a warning here, something you need to be aware of. Uh, based on the diagnostics uh, that this user may be eligible to either install uh, Office 2013 or 2016. And the version that is already installed on this computer is the 2016 version. Okay. If um, I would like to know the known issues, there are known Outlook issues uh, for um, Office 2016, I can click Next or I can skip to continue with the, with the installation. I'm going to skip for now to continue with the installation. All right, again, it's giving us a summary of the troubleshooting that was done. And it says that the troubleshooting is complete. Okay, so the installation wasn't completed uh, properly, so the Sarah tool is giving us um, the, um, the link to install, and it's choosing for us the 2016 version, and we can uh, choose the Office 2013 version if needed. 
All right, so I'm going to keep it at 2016, and it has already updated the language and version information for me. Again, uh, very friendly and easy to use, as you can see. All right, so the Sarah tool here is continuing the installation. It's telling us it may take 30 minutes or more for the installation to complete, based on the um, machine and bandwidth, of course. And here the office is installing. All right, so the installation has uh, been completed. So here um, the support and recovery assistant tool, as you can see, says that it has successfully installed the office on the machine and it gives us a summary. And we can copy the results to be sent to um, the administrator or view the details of the results as an administrator. Okay, and the office installation is successful, so I'm going to click Next. Okay, and uh, did the support and recovery assistant tool uh, solve my issue? Yes, my issue is solved. I'm going to give it a five star rating. And yes, I would have opened a uh, Microsoft support ticket if the issue was not resolved. And I'm going to complete that. And I'm going to close. And that's it. Thank you for joining.